Good morning and a very happy Friday to you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Local 3 News today. Here's a breakdown with your weather headlines of what to expect. So today it's going to be a raincoat day on and off showers expected for today. Highs are going to be a little bit cooler than yesterday in the 70s for a lot of locations. Highs from about 72 to 75. Now scatter storms and some PM sunshine are both in the forecast for Saturday. So not a complete washout on Saturday. I do think it's going to be mostly cloudy in the morning time through the first part of the afternoon, but you do get some breaks in the clouds for late afternoon into the evening for a little bit of that sun and then a few showers lingering on Sunday, but also Sunday gets more sunshine than clouds. So that's going to be some great news. So today kind of the dreariest day of the bunch. So when we go ahead and look at our clouds and radar right now, you can certainly see that cloud cover covering up our entire area. That's that blue color that's showing up. And then our green down here, that's that initial rain moving into Jackson and DeKalb counties in Alabama. So you're already getting some of those light rain showers if you're in Fort Payne all the way up to the high top area. Let me pull back a little bit further so that way you can kind of see a slightly bigger picture of this whole system at play. Now, now, thankfully for us, any really big storms are way down along the Gulf Coast, in fact, into the Gulf of Mexico with all of that lightning. We can see this initial rain shield, but some additional showers in Mississippi that are developing. So that's why we're going to be dealing with kind of these on and off periods really throughout the day today. Now, thankfully, the severe risk has dropped well to the south of us. So if you were watching yesterday, I mentioned that we were under a level one marginal risk for today. That has been eliminated. It really looks like those strong to severe storms are going to stay much closer to the Gulf Coast. So for us, we are now having this pale green, which just means, yeah, some general thunderstorms, a rumble of thunder are possible today. But even that, I think, is a little bit unlikely. A lot of this rain today is just going to be some regular rain and a pretty light in nature. On Saturday, so this is tomorrow's severe outlook, you can see how that threat pushes eastward. But notice this arch right here with that dark green color. Let me zoom in. Our far southeastern communities, you are highlighted at that level one. So that's going to be that dark green color at that level one marginal risk. Your risk factors tomorrow are going to be damaging high winds and isolated hail. And I'm going to show you where that's coming from with Futurecast. First, let's run through the day today. So here's our Futurecast for 7 a.m. That rain has pushed across our area, wet roads. Be careful for your morning time drive. It's going to continue into mid-morning. Here's 10 a.m. Those rain showers still happening. Now you'll notice around lunchtime at 1230, we have spots of green, but you also have locations that just have that cloud cover. That's why I meant it's going to be kind of these on and off periods. We will generally have just that light rainfall, but a few pockets of some brief moderate to heavy rain are going to be possible uh, pretty consistently through the afternoon. Now, as we go into the evening time, though, rain chances are going to drop down some. So notice by 8 p.m. you have more areas that just have the cloud cover, fewer that have that green. So kind of spotty shower chances if you're heading out and about for Friday night. Into Saturday morning, we're looking at that cloud cover, a few spotty showers, but notice Saturday afternoon, we start to get a few of these thunderstorms that pop up. This is the area from the southeast, a storm line coming up from the south. That's why our southeastern communities have that risk. So I just wanted to kind of give you that heads up for that. But by late afternoon into the evening, you also get some breaks in the clouds for your Saturday. And remember, Sunday, more sunshine than clouds. So that's some good news. Total rainfall for today. Uh, this is an indicator that even though we will have these rain chances throughout the day, that it's not going to be super heavy. On average, about a quarter of an inch is what's expected. So 74 for your high. Rain showers mainly light. As far as your allergy report goes, good air quality. Unfortunately, still mold very high and pollen count in the high category. And then tonight, 65, mostly cloudy with just a spotty shower chance. Tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 80 degrees that 50% chance and then Sunday for Ironman 85 degrees and only a 20% chance for an isolated shower.